Greetings everyone! Hello, hello! My name is Taylor and today we're taking a look at custom menus. What is the custom menu and why should you care about it? The custom menu allows you, the super admin, complete control over what the contact sees and their experience, journey, navigation inside of their portal. Put a different way, you are hiding or showing menu items to a contact on their left hand side navigation. Anytime you need to make an adjustment, simply head on up to the flyout menu and you will find it waiting for you underneath your branding section. Managing the visibility of a menu item is very user friendly. Let's say you want to hide the office tab from your clients. All you have to do is click the eye and then toggle on or off your selection. Oh yeah, and be sure to click save each time you make a change. And here's something to remember. When you hide a top-level menu item from a role, all the sub-items in that group will also be hidden. But if you select a sub-item to be visible for a role, the top-level menu item will automatically be revealed, even if it was previously hidden. And as if that wasn't cool enough, we recently jazzed up this section even more. You can now hide or show certain menu items based on a contact's circle affiliation. Here at Sweet Dash, we love making things easy and user-friendly. So that's why we added a very slick reordering feature to our custom menus. Simply grab the item you want to move, drag it up or down, and drop it into place. Now watch how the change happens instantaneously on the left side navigation bar. Well, we didn't stop there. We also allow you the customization to change the names of the menu items. Find the one you want to change, click the edit button, and that's all there is to it. Just like reordering, the change happens in mere moments. And at any point, if you need to restore your custom menu to default settings, we've got you covered there too. Did you know you have the power to create your very own menu items? That's right, and it's super easy. Let's say you want to add a direct link to a website. First, you'll click the plus link icon, and then we'll give it a name, drop in the URL, select a fresh icon, and click add. Boom! Just like that, you've given your contacts even more to play with. Now also keep in mind that you can direct your contacts to one of your awesome custom portal pages. It starts the same as our previous example, but this time select portal page, and then you'll find the one you want to direct them to. But remember this menu item will only display if you have granted the contact access to this portal page, either through direct permission or through a circle affiliation. I want to now touch on something I could foresee being an issue down the road for you. Submenu items cannot be underneath a portal page acting as a top level item. Why? Well, remember, portal pages are only seen by contacts who have been granted permission. So if a particular contact doesn't have the ability to see the portal page acting as a top level menu item, then you can kiss the ability for them to see the submenu items beneath it goodbye. But don't fear, we have a stellar workaround for this. If you want to create sub-menu items of your own, just follow my lead. Now let's give this top level item a name, and we're gonna keep it on direct relative link, and type in a pound symbol, or hashtag for all the millennials out there. Now we're gonna choose an icon, and finally, we'll click add. Now from here, Let's click the sub menu item. And we're gonna add menu items just like you normally would. Let's take a look at a new navigation menu item we have called My Pages. It's just what it sounds like. This will display all of the portal pages that a contact has access to. Now the cool thing is, if your contact does not have access to any portal pages, then this navigation menu item disappears automatically. In the same way, let's say you have 10 different portal pages in your platform, but have only granted this particular contact access to four of them. 
Well then, only those four are going to show up. That's why we call it a dynamic pages menu. Further and further, we go down the rabbit hole. Let me now show you how to reorder these portal pages underneath the My Pages navigation menu item. Let's hit the flyout menu, and then we're going to click on Categories. From here, head on down to Portal Pages, and we're going to reorder like you normally would. The cool thing is, this same process also works for your various LMS products. Drum roll, please. We are thrilled to announce the newest feature to our custom menus. You now have a grocery list of no-code link options to play around with when editing a menu item. Now, let's check out a few. Go ahead and click the Link Action dropdown to discover all of your new options. Oh, and don't miss this. Hanging out at the bottom are a bunch of actions that make it super easy for your contacts to stay updated on their outstanding items, including unpaid invoices. Hey, we all need a polite nudge every now and then. Is your brain about to burst with all this new knowledge? Okay then, let's finish off with a cool and very helpful example, and then we'll call it a day. For this one, we're going to pretend we're in the bookkeeping business, and we're out to make our clients' lives much easier. We need them to upload a lot of documents, so we're going to set up a direct link to a folder in our file system. Start off by navigating to your files. I've created a new shared folder entitled Tax Documents, and to make things easy in this example, I granted access to my circle all clients, which means everyone will be able to check this out. We will need to grab a relative link from the client side to make this work. So let's choose any client from our CRM and impersonate them. From here, we'll click Files, then Shared with me. Finally, we'll go and decide a tax documents. And now we're going to grab and copy everything in the URL that comes after .com. This is our relative link. Got it? Awesome. Now let's power down the impersonation and head back to our customized menu screen to finish up. Create a new top level menu item. Let's give it a descriptive label. And we're going to drop in the relative link to the shared folder we just copied. Select a sweet icon and then we're going to click on add. And to finish it off, I'm going to drag this guy to the top. So it's the first thing my client sees. Now let's see it from the client side. Now when my client logs in, they can simply click Submit Documents, my newly created top level menu item. And they're taken straight to the file folder where I want them to upload their documents. Now take this example, expand on it, and really think about how intentional you can be about your client's navigational journey through your platform. The options are literally endless. Hey, as always, it's such a pleasure deep diving with you into the wild world of Sweet Dash. We'll see you on the next one.